Well, at 7.23, Keith O'Neill and Charlie Ingram honoring a couple of gentlemen that have gone on to glory recently in the last half hour. Uh, Chuck Goodwin from Oklahoma. And, uh, Charlie, we've got another one, and this one a lot of folks will know. Keith, this is amazing. Thank you, by the way, and to our audience for allowing us the time to honor these men, uh, especially here with the Goodwin family who's got such uh, ties to Branson. Yep. I think every time I looked up, Chuck and Sandy were in Branson <laughs> doing something. But wait to hear this one. About 1980-ish, 88, 89, we came to Branson, Missouri to visit my parents. My parents uh, were going to go to Bella Vista, Arkansas, to the Cooper communities from the farm in Palmyra. And my dad said, too many old people down there. <laughs> so they came to Branson, Missouri, and started working with the uh, Mundhalla folks at the campground. And the first place they took his Keith was a place called the Brashler, the Brashler Music oh, Show. Oh, yeah. The Brashler Music Show. There's a gentleman coming on after us where Elevate Branch says, that's where it was at. That's where. So who'd be in the parking lot, Keith? Well, some of the players, Terry Sanders and some other people, and Cliff Bratchler would be there, I'm sure. Well, I got to tell you, the whole family, yep. Johnny, Tim Brooks, the family, Cliff Bratchler, at that time, D. Schrock, my dad said the best saxophone player he'd ever heard. And it was good. Yep. And all of a sudden, out of nowhere, here comes Joan Rivers. What in the world, Keith, is this? I know, that's Terry. It is Terry. Mm -hmm. And he's a pretty doggone good Joan Rivers. <laughs> yeah. What a fun, uplifting music show. But I think you're going to be shocked this morning when I tell you about Clifton Cliff Brashler, who passed away on the 15th day of February 2023 at the age of 84. Near his home in Branson. Cliff is survived by his wife of 61 years, mm. Janice. And you can still see her when you go to the old Pressure Theater yeah. in the box office of Hamner. Hamner and Theater now. She'll be in the box office. And I just saw her not many weeks ago when we put up the signs for market days. We had a nice chance to visit and talk about Cliff. Have a daughter, Sherry Brashler. Married to Rex of Ozark, sons Todd Brashler, who you know, yep. his wife Claudia, yep. Paul Brashler, Marissa is his wife of Harrison, Arkansas, and Rick, which we know very, very well from Canacuck, and his Harrison. wife Julie, yep. and was loved, Grandpa, he's got the record, you ready? Yeah. Chuck Goodwin, you and I got to move over, <laughs> 21 grandchildren, Ooh. Oh, it gets better. Oh, well, yeah? And 12 great-grandchildren. Wow. Cliff was preceded in death by his uh, parents, Paul and Lucille Brashler, stepmother, Emma Brashler, and sister, Glenna Waddling. Cliff was born on October 12, 1913, in a farmhouse near Donovan, Missouri, hmm. to Paul and Lucille. He spent his early years working the farm with his dad, swimming and fishing, and if the Combs are listening today and others, on the current river. Hmm and attending the one-room schoolhouse on the dirt floor in southern Ripley County. Now, Keith, are you getting a picture of Cliff oh, here for a minute? Sure am. As a youth attending Donovan, you're getting ready because you're going to hear stuff you had no idea. All right. When he attended Donovan High School, he excelled in academics and played basketball, achieving all state honors. These achievements would lead to his acceptance at the University of Missouri, Rolla, hmm. to play basketball and study engineering. However, his life took a turn after arriving at the University of Missouri at Rolla, and after sensing a call to the ministry, he transferred, are you ready? Yep. Anderson College in Anderson, Indiana. That's wow. the home of the Gaithers yeah. and Sandy Patty and that old group to study religion and English. Cliff would serve as lead pastor of two churches in Anderson, Indiana before leaving the state, Maple Grove Church of God, an ironable church of God. In 1971, he was called to the first church of God. Are you ready? Mm. In Tampa, Florida. Oh, boy. Where he served as lead pastor for seven years. Mm. Then in 1977, the first church of God in St. James, Missouri, up by the grapes, right? Right. And he finished his vocational ministry career in 1984. He moved to Branson to launch the Brashler Music Show, mm. a family country and gospel music show Cliff was not only partners in his venture, but he also sang tenor in the quartet 
and as MC of the show, he made scores of people laugh as the straight man. And let me tell you something. Cliff Brashler was a straight man. Johnny, can you see Terry kidding on the Oh, line? yeah. Crazy. <laughs> you never forget Brashler's powerful tenor voice delivering attendees with a never forgetful songs like The King is Coming and The Lighthouse. After winning Gospel Show of the Year on, of the Year on several occasions and awarded the Branson Family Tradition Award, Cliff retired from the music industry and the Brashner Music Show after 23 years of entertaining Branson visitors. In 2017, Brashner received a Pioneer Award for his years in Branson Entertainment. This is where you're really going to get in on the personal life of Cliff Brashner. Are you ready, Keith? Yes, sir. This right. is great. And for you that want to know if it's 730, we're going to run along in this segment. In his personal life, Cliff loved the outdoors and spent most of his free time hunting and fishing with kids or grandkids. Whenever wading Bull Creek for smallmouth, trolling for walleye on bull shoals, sitting in a tree <clears throat> for deer, or even joining the kids in Colorado to hunt elk. He loved the adventure and the fellowship with his outside friends and family. What I'm getting ready to read to you next, I wish I'd have known about Cliff, because his wife, Cliff, and Mary and I have the same thing in common. Are you ready? Yes. Remember in the scriptures where it says a but? Talked about the outdoors? Mm -hmm. We have a but. Mm. But when baseball season started, oh, look out. In the spring, you would find Cliff and his bride Janice sitting in front of the, watching the Cardinals. Oh, it gets better. Mm. And another race to the World Series. Cliff would know the history of the league and the players' stats, while Janice would fill in personal stories of all the players their birthplace, family, their history, number of kids, injuries, and where they went to church. Wow. Now, I'm telling you. Oh, I love that. Oh, that's great. Jay Scribner, if you're listening today, his dad was buried with a cardinal hat. My mom was buried with a cardinal hat and a schedule. And I bet you somewhere they had some red for Cliff. Whether serving in ministry or entertaining thousands, Cliff and Jan were in it together. Their marriage is a testament to the covenant they made to God and to each other. And it stands as firm today as it did in that small church in Minnesota over 61 years ago. Cliff was a man of his word and he never strayed from his profession of faith in Jesus Christ his devotion to his bride his duty to raise children and the admonition of the Lord and to love his neighbor as himself of all accomplishments he could boast Chris spoke more often about the people he led to Jesus and the privilege he had to baptize and departing this life his desire for this whole his desire is that all of us would know the same Jesus. I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me will live even though they die. What is a common thread between these two men? Chuck Goodwin and Cliff Brasher. What is that thread, Keith? They both love the Jesus Christ that we serve today with all their hearts. What noble, noble men. Chuck Goodwin and Cliff Brasher. Well, I'm sorry, folks, because I had a song all set up, and I wanted to play so bad, No More Scars in Heaven. Because Mary and I listened to that, and it's great. Yes. But i got to tell you, after reading this bio of Cliff Brashler, I could not end this program without playing you this. It's called The King is Coming. It's empty, no more traffic in the street. All the builders to his eyesight, no more time to harvest wheat. Busy housewives cease their labors. In the courtroom, there's no debate. Work on earth has been suspended. As the king comes to the gate I can hear the chariot rumble And I can see the mighty throng And the flood 